everyone, I'm Nye with Ellie and Mac, and I'm here to let you in on a little secret. Have you ever sewn an armhole to a neck hole? Guess what? There's a tool for that. Seam rippers. And I got to try out a whole bunch of them this week and figure out which ones I like the best. And I'm gonna share my results out with you. Come along. Singer Pro Series Folding Seam Ripper. I love the handle on this one. I like the fact that it's thick and this is actually rubberized on the outside, so holding onto the handle is quite easy. When you're going to put it away, it automatically has a folding mechanism that's very easy to use, so you don't poke yourself. Um, I have a lot of the super cheap seam rippers here. Uh, these are the ones that I usually use, and um oh this one is broke <laughs> so much for that which is why i buy cheap ones <laughs> but they usually come with these little plastic caps and these plastic caps get lost um and and usually i forget to replace them when i'm done using the seam ripper but not with this one this is very easy to fold and put away i like that the handle is rubberized and isn't going to slip out of my hand this is a great tool for anyone who has difficulty with grasping um, this seam reaper retails for $8.99 on Amazon, but I managed to get it on sale for $8.30. It has four and a half stars, which I think is pretty good out of five. This seam ripper is by So True. It's created to be ergonomic so that when you're holding onto it, it also will not slip out of your hands. I like the shape of it. It feels comfortable in my hand when I'm using it and it also has a cap. Now that's a downside for me because I tend to lose the cap when I'm sewing. So if you're someone who tends to lose the cap and poke yourself with your seam ripper, then maybe this one isn't for you. However, it is rubberized and very easy to hold on to when cutting stitches and very, very sharp. It retails for $6.85 on Amazon and has 148 four and a half stars. So that's pretty good too. Now I have the Clover 463 Seam Ripper. This one was not necessarily one of my favorites. Um, it has this really pretty wooden-like handle, which is actually kind of slippery. And I kind of feel like if you have difficulty holding on to things, this is gonna be really hard to cut with. It feels very smooth in my hands, but like I said, I'm a little klutzy. Um, and so this is not really necessarily my favorite because I almost forget that I'm holding on to it. So there's like no meat to that grip. It is super sharp and does also have the gliding ball on it. So another downside to this one is that it has a cap. Again, caps are not my favorite because I always feel like I'm going to lose the cap and that's something that I do generally. So I'm not going to go for a seam ripper that has a cap. This retails for $5.50 on Amazon Prime if you are interested. Again, it's the Clover 463 Seam Ripper. This is the Havels S Incorporated Surgical Seam Ripper. This seam ripper is super duper sharp. That's a razor right there at the tip, okay? So if you're even slightly clumsy or uh, don't tend to pay specific attention when using sharp items like me, this may not be your best friend. I actually had one of these and cut myself several times. <laughs> but it is very effective for cutting seams, especially serger seams. If you just want to rip right through it real quick, this is the tool for you. It does come with a cap, which kind of worries me a little bit because it's kind of sharp. But if you remember to put your cap on, you're good to go. It's a little dainty grip wise, so it's not something that you can even feel in your hands. This item retails for $6.28 on Amazon. We got a 50% discount on it and um, it has 92 ratings of four and a half stars. So it's done really well for itself. So here are the four that I have. <clears throat> of all four of these, I would have to say the singer is my favorite. This is okay. My least favorite is this. I feel like this, if you have small children in the house, it can be a problem. This Havels Incorporated Surgical Seam Ripper is kind of dangerous and it, there are no guards. You can't protect your fingers. If you lose the cap, the blade will likely break in your tool jar. It's just not overall the best if you aren't very careful with sharps. 
So you might be very, very good with sharps and this might be your bestest friend. But for me, she gonna be on the back burner back there. All right, well, that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed my review. Uh, please let me know if you use any of these tools and how you feel about them. Goodbye.